how to bulletproof your injury prevention coaching. Hey, I'm Sarah from Most Motion, and I'm here with another video for every sports and fitness coach who wants to help their clients uh, get rid of injuries, avoid them, deal with the pain they're already in, and all that kind of thing. So, uh, how we bulletproof injury prevention is we work together as a team. And I'm going to show you what I mean through an example of this fake, obviously, uh, triathlon club. Okay, so we're going to use a group uh, sports club as an example. So we've called it Resultsville just because it's a bit fun and it identifies everything that's happening at the moment. So we've got different levels of coaches within a club. Okay, so the first level is Judy. Now, Judy is um, a parent helper. Okay, so her son got into triathlon. She's going anyway to these sessions. So she just decided to try and help out. So she's helping out. She's trying to earn her qualifications, which means she needs to help out in different sessions than just his. Now, Mike is a little bit further along the line. He has qualified as a triathlon coach. So he can take sessions by himself and he's done a, a few more hours than uh, Judy has. So he's being able to help these sessions, uh, take these sessions by himself. Now, Sally is a fitness professional. So she coaches for a living and she is a lot more qualified than Mike and Judy. She's um, able to do strength and conditioning and things like that. She's taking things to a much more uh, serious level with her coaching. And Tim, if I just move things up here a little bit, Tim is um, just basically obsessed by injuries. He loves helping people with their injury problems. He's a recovery specialist, that kind of thing. And he's going to really get involved with the physio, who is Jane. Okay. Now, in this situation, most of the time in a, in a general sports club, um, that's only Tim that knows anything about injuries. So if Judy comes across somebody who has a pain, then she either has to refer them out to Jane, the physio, or to Tim, the injury specialist. But when it comes to communication across the uh, the club to the, co the in-house coaching, then Tim ends up having to explain to Judy and Mike and Sally all about injuries or um, try and explain to them ways that they can help, which ultimately means that Judy, Mike and Sally are not doing anything uh, that's inside of their coaching remit. Everything Tim teaches them is outside of their coaching guidelines because they're not certified to Tim's level. But if we want to bulletproof this injury prevention system, we need to make sure that Judy and Mike and Sally and Tim all have skills that will help Jane the physio because she's overwhelmed by the amount of people that she's having to deal with. Um, if we can help her manage her load, she can help people more effectively, she can give more attention to them, and we can start to prevent these injuries happening in the first place. Okay, so let's go back to Judy. Judy is an assistant coach. Okay, she can still spot injury problems that are happening in people even before they know that they're happening. She can refer people to Sally or Tim or Jane or somebody else or just mention it to her supervisor in the group session. But it does mean that she can help the situation. She's spotting things before they're happening. Okay, That's going to help her in her coaching. And because Judy can do that, Mike and Sally and Tim can also do that. But if we add more skills to Mike, Mike is able to take these sessions for himself. We give Mike the skills to be able to deal with general movement problems that lead to a lot of these specific injuries. Then Mike is helping to offset the pain. He's helping to delay how long it takes for people to end up with pain. And that means Mike is also helping the situation. So we've got Judy who can see things that are uh, coming down the line. Um, Mike can help people with their general movement issues that are contributing to these problems. Sally is much more specific with what she can do in terms of her injury prevention contribution. She can see uh, technique problems and specifics of individual movements, and she can help on an individual basis. 
And of course, Tim is super nerdy about injuries. He loves helping people. So he can help Jane to reduce the, the amount of time it takes to recover from these injuries in the first place. So as a whole group, when we all work together in a little ecosystem, it means that we can avoid a lot of these problems leading to pain, which means Jane's not as busy. She's super happy because her people are getting results. She can now refer people to this super duper triathlon club because she knows that they are going to be, she's going to be confident in the fact that these coaches are going to help her patients. They're not trying to replicate what she's doing in her physio treatment. They're going to help fast track her patients to recovery which means they're going to get better care and more people are going to come to Jane as a physio because she can fast track the recovery. More people are going to go to the club because they can stay away from injuries and fast track the recovery as well. So it's by working together in this ecosystem that everybody contributes. Now, it doesn't mean that there's only club situations that this can happen with. Let's say uh, Mike is a fitness instructor and he knows Sally as a personal trainer, and she knows Tim as an injury specialist, they're all working in a fitness club. We could have it online so that nobody's ever met anybody else, but you know of these companies, you know of these people, but you never actually speak to them. This is the way that we will absolutely bulletproof our clients when it comes to injuries. But if you want tips and tricks and explanations of more of this ecosystem, then you can go and grab my free book. It's called The Coach's Guide to Long-Term Injury Prevention Success. I'll put the link in the comments below. So uh, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments as well. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends if you think they will find it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.